Hello everyone. So today we are going to show you the last two steps of the curriculum mapping uh, infographic part one. So we are going to look into how do we insert an awesome table gadget on the on a Google site and how to configure it. So we are going to skip the part where you create a Google site. Um, and also because currently um, Google has been undergoing changes and they are changing Google site. The demonstration we will show you will be on the old or current Google site. So um, when you are on your Google site, what you will need to do is to go to insert more gadgets. And if you scroll down, you will find awesome table and then you can insert it. Another option is to search for that gadget if you don't see it. I'm just going to cancel because mine is already on my site. So I will simply uh, click on the gear icon and edit uh, the configuration. So let's start with the general setting. As if we were starting one, uh, you will be prompted to have uh, to add a name for your view. So we decided to call to call it table, and just you'll probably have to save it at that time. This is worth to check what we choose over here for the display, we decided 100% uh, by 1000 pixels. And then we unticked all these options. We thought it was not necessary. So it's up to you. Um, now I'm going to show you uh, the sheet. So over here, you will need to paste your sheet URL. So remember, this is the one we worked on previously. So you just take that uh, sheet and uh, paste the URL. Make sure that you have selected the right sharing setting. So in our case, it's anyone with the link, but maybe your site is only for your domain users and you want to change that. But it shouldn't be private, otherwise it won't show on your site. Okay, uh, you also need to write the sheet names. So this is right here. And then the range, so A1 and to TLW in our case. Then we'll go to view. You have to select table and just display as many numbers as you want. We selected 10. We thought that was enough. The format now. So here, uh, this should come automatically. But what you need to do is to paste this URL. So if you look in the description of our video, you will find this. And Fanny, if I may, the custom CSS URL uh, actually controls the look and feel of the table on your Google site. That enables that awesome table to have that really nice Google Doc icon that represents all of the, the units on your table. So, and moving forward, the advanced parameters in this case, we are selecting very specific columns from our Google Sheet. And the reason we're doing is this is because we want to put them in a very precise order. If we left this blank, we could still get an awesome table, but it would not likely be in the order that we want the columns to be. So um, these are the columns that are available to us, and we opted to put them in the order we want via this query. So don't be scared by the word query. It's actually quite simple. And it's a matter of just trial and error. You kind of go through, um, see which ones you want. And then some of these are actually hidden, um, but they are necessary. So for example, one of these columns, I believe, was the image column. And if we go back to the demo file, you'll see that column D is hidden but it still has to be available in that query because the awesome table needs to pull this data into the table. So, and just a, a side note on how awesome tables work is they all have these very specific filters. And a, a really cool one is this CSV filter, which permits you to have multiple names in one cell, and it'll show up in a filter as individual names. So. So once you are happy with the, your query, um, the next thing you need to configure is the template. So the template is actually a, another Google Sheet that came with the document that you've downloaded earlier. So in your 
demo file cabinet, you'll have a sheet called template. And this, you won't have to change anything here. It's a matter of just knowing that this is there. And this is also contributing to the way the links work uh, in your awesome table. So, but this, you don't have to do any programming here whatsoever. And uh, Fanny, now should I turn the mouse back over to you? Thank you. So, I mean, we are, we are done with the configuration now. So we are simply going to save and look at how it looks at the end. So it's pretty nice. We have this icon and everything is organized. So you can always change the letters uh, in the query so you can have a different order. Uh, so this is how it works on the old or current Google site. But uh, if you uh, joined the um, Awesome Table Google Plus community, you will notice that there is a post by Romain Vi Viala who explained that on the new Google site, it's still possible to insert an Awesome Table. So this is quite easy to do because you simply have to add the link, the embed link. So you probably have to configure it from the Awesome Table website so well we just finished the infographic part one so thank you for watching and we will see you for the next part of this infographic <laughs>